Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey Star Wars fans and welcome back to another exciting episode of Power of the Force Fridays. This time we have a couple of Expanded Universe figures coming from the Dark Empire series. Um, we have the clone of Emperor Palpatine and Dark Side Luke Skywalker. And if you look carefully in the background, in the reflection, there's me. Hello! Um, <laughs> uh, sadly, I don't have the correct lightsabers for these two figures. I did buy these loose at a toy fair some years ago now. Um, and yeah, they didn't have the lightsabers. And this is a comic pack that was updated later towards the 30th anniversary collection or the legacy collection in a comic pack where they gave us two completely updated versions of these two figures. So, but these are still really, really cool and I like them a lot. Um, so yeah, I recently went back and read the Dark Empire comic series. I finally got a hold of each issue and, um, for the most part, the story's pretty cool. Um, well, I don't agree with most of that would happen, like Luke turning to the dark side. I don't think he would willingly go out of his way to do so at any under any circumstance. Um, it's still so it's still really cool to get into the whole cloning thing, um, particularly the amount of it was actually used as um, material, as inspiration for... Uh, not only the sequel trilogy, but probably more so, more than anything, Rise of Skywalker with Palpatine's return. Um, so we'll get a look at each of them. Um, obviously they took a different route in the, uh, in the film, whereas, uh, the book sort of brought back a clone body of Palpatine in his younger self. You know, he's a, uh, young redhead. We got to see him in the nudie with no clothes on in the comics. You can see his Palpatine bottom. Now this is just a lightsaber I have sitting around, so because he did wield a blue lightsaber uh, underneath. If I can take that off. We have this pretty sort of cool imperial looking uh, you know outfit. And, uh, you know, the green sleeves doesn't, it really, it's really only there to match, match the cloak over the top. But, you know, if that was the same color as the gray or the suit was green as well, it would actually look really cool. He's got a bit of a, bit of a mullet going on there. He's got the dark red Sith eyes. Get a look out of the way, it might focus on this one. It's pretty cool. I just like the shoulder armor, I like the outfit. I think it looks quite cool. I like the sort of shorter tunic. You know, this guy looks almost looks like some kind of like Sith warrior, like he goes opposite the uh the sort of Jedi of the prequel era with their sort of more battle battle-ready outfits, such as like this, I've still got this sitting here, so he's sort of got the shorter, shorter tunic, um, but yeah, I like, I like the idea a lot, and I'd still love to get that comic pack with the, uh, updated versions of these two, these two figures, it's always been one that's on my radar, but, uh, never, never really come across it, so, um, yeah, yeah, I like, I like this sort of, the high collar, I think it looks cool. Yeah, I'll give him his lightsaber back. Now, I'm pretty sure the Luke, that's blue tacked in there. So yeah, I'm pretty sure the Luke came with like a, a red magenta sort of colored blade. But, uh, yeah, in terms of, like, you know, Power of the Force style head sculpts, I think this one is actually not too bad. I sort of like the, uh, sort of more shabbier looking hair, like it's a little bit messed up. Still looks like, like he doesn't look evil or dark side or anything. He's still got the bright blue eyes and, but the outfit is definitely that of a dark side warrior. 
I guess. <laughs> kind of like the sleeves, like with the, the lines, sort of the folds in the fabric. It's definitely uh, reminiscent of Kylo Ren, or Kylo Ren, and is re very re much reminiscent of this. Sort of layered down to the hands. Now this hand is actually, has a swivel, which is interesting. It just doesn't quite sit in there. There's a little bit of extra paint on the on the joint there. There's a bit of blue. I could scratch it off if I really wanted to, but I'm not that fussy. Um, I am fussy, but <laughs> not, not, not fussy enough to fix this one. But again, I like the high collar. I think that looks cool. Uh, this one isn't going to come off as easy as I could, but uh, you can sort of see his undershirt there. Pants and boots. But yeah, the uh, the rope sort of got a blue sort of tinges throughout. Um, same, similarly to how this one has that sort of green. As this one has some sort of blue tinges. There's a little paint defect on the shoulder there. You can sort of see some blue highlights sort of through it. Through here. So I wonder if that was, uh, you know, meant to sort of go with the sort of comic style or just, just add a little bit of depth to uh, the robes. But yeah, I, I, I'm, I still dig these figures. I think they look cool. And uh, yeah, I thought I'd go for a bit of a twofer this week. Got it out a little bit later. Normally I sort of pre-record earlier in the week, but I am actually recording here on Friday night. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I uh, did get a comment about these on a previous a previous episode of uh, Power of the Force Friday, so I thought why not put them in a video and uh, have a little bit of a chat about these two because they're they're quite cool. Uh, definitely go and check out Dark Empire. There is a six issue run from I think it was like 1992 or three, early 90s anyway. I can't. It might have been 94. Um, I was too young to uh, have read it when it came out, so um, yeah, I, I got a hold of these comics. Uh, a friend from Instagram sent them to me some months back, and uh, yeah, it was a few months ago that I read them, but uh, it, w it was an interesting story to go back and read from the old Legends expanded universe, but uh, yeah, I'm excited to share these, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. And uh, stay tuned every Friday. I do Power of the Force Fridays. So sort of uh, taking a bit of a ride through the uh, 90s with a bit of nostalgic fun and some old, old figures from my childhood. So uh, again, thank you very much for tuning in. Till the next video, may the Force be with you always.